Hey everyone, welcome to my VR video. I want to talk about the VR project that I have quickly prototyped over the last two days, my experiences with VR, and what I think of it, and also getting a project up and running in Unreal. So, what you're going to see in a moment is my the template, the VR template, and that's what I'm using as the base for this project. So as you can see here in the prototype stage, I'm using the VR template, I'm using the built-in pickup system, and I've added a bunch of my own stuff in. So first of all, VR is new to me. I've done mobile VR before, but I've never done touch control VR or anything with room scale. So it's been a really exciting experience. AI is new to me in terms of Unreal. I've done A-star pathfinding and I've done AI in, in Unity using NavMesh before, but I haven't used the Unreal system. So it's been really great. Um, this I was really happy with this prototype. I did this last night and this morning I woke up and I wanted to polish it a bit more. So I built this environment that you see here. I put in some music, and some sound effects, and the sound effects really brought this to life. So it was a ton of fun just getting in, you will hear in a second, getting in the noise for the explosion. So that noise there. And also you notice with the enemies, when they see you, they make that noise. And when they die, they make a noise as well, which is really nice. I really like having the visual and the audio working together. And in terms of the enemies, they've got a few states set up, so it was really fun to work with the animations. If you go on the marketplace, I'm using the Infinity Blade art assets, and they have so many great things. So I've got the creature pack that they give, and pretty much all of them, they have animations. There is a lot of setup you'll have to learn if you want to use it properly. You can't just like drop and drag everything, but it's worth learning. And it's fun to have good art assets. And the other one I'm using is the Infinity Blade Grasslands, which is really nice. And that is of course free and what I'm using here. So you'll notice I'm actually doing my debug in a render text above enemy heads. The reason I'm doing that is because it's really hard to see print string in VR, so it's a lot easier to just render the state of the enemy above the head. Um, another thing, I don't know why I put this ramp here, but I, I take it out in the final version. Um, so on the on the next version, you'll see I really polished up everything. So. I, I really just went to town and tried to make it look really nice with a bunch of um, props. I would, I'm not using any post-processing because I've read I don't know enough about VR post-processing. I'm actually going to be messing around with it in, after this video, but I didn't want to risk dropping my frame rate for VR experience, so I'm going to push post-processing next and I might have another update video after that. The things I do add, as you can see, a bunch of static props so everything's baked. Um, you'll see background art assets, so like that tower. <laughs> this is a cool bit. I noticed you could see throughout brick wall there, which is nice. Uh, the trees, so it's a mix of green and greys. The green allows me to break it up. That water fountain just has like a scrolling texture, it's not actual water simulating. And I forgot to mention, I actually put an outline around these objects. It's just a material, it's not a post-processing pass. It's just a simple material I made. It's not like the greatest material in the world, but for prototyping purposes, it allowed me to quickly see that I could interact with that object. And when I get other people to test this out, they can also notice that like, oh, okay, it's got yellow around it, I can interact with it. Um, so yeah, I've been having such a blast with VR. You get a sense of the world, you get a sense of the objects that you're moving or throwing or attacking with. You it's really unlike anything, and I'm definitely going to be putting out some VR games, and it's definitely what I'm going to be developing in from now on. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I just wanted to give you a quick update on my VR game development. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want a more technical look, I do have some extra footage, so just comment below and I'll put a video together. And I'll see you guys in the next video.